and there's new concern wildfire and danger in San Diego will grow this fall. Today, the National Weather Service updated its forecast saying La Nina is very likely. ABC 10 News reporter Leah Pizzetti reveals how a warm winter will affect our fires and our drought. NOAA's new winter forecast is out and a La Nina winter is expected. You know, the La Nina means a drier winter for much of California, especially Southern California. We're already seeing cold water along the equator. This has a domino effect on our global patterns. It means more hurricanes in the Atlantic, which we've already seen, and it means our jet stream along the West Coast is pushed north. This is what brings us our storms, so this means a warm and dry winter is expected. It's difficult times in terms of the extremes, obviously, with temperature, dryness, fire weather, and now the forecast of, you know, a drier winter. National Weather Service meteorologist Alex Tardy says this is a dangerous combination when looking at our past. The last winter was fairly wet. The rain helped water vegetation, then that dried out during this past hot and dry summer, and that means fire risk is high now. Any type of fire is going to be a problem in Southern California because the conditions are so dry. And the risk will continue until we see some rain. But this October marks the beginning of a new water year, leaving the most recent wet winter behind. So regardless of what happened last winter, we've kind of reset now. Now we're in a whole new year and unfortunately things are looking very stressed in terms of fire weather conditions. And the warm and dry winter expected could lead to drought conditions returning to Southern California. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. La Nina winters are known to be warm and dry, but it doesn't mean that rain is out of the question. Meteorologists hope for storms as soon as possible to help with the dry fuel. And meteorologists.